Hey, welcome to Storytime with Will. I'm Will Saris. Today we've got a fun story by a Connecticut-based author who I know. It's called Giuseppe Boudet's Colorful Days by Judy Benno. Giuseppe, who always found artwork appealing, got an idea while painting his ceiling. Colors can really be very revealing. and show us just what the artist is feeling. Just then, his pet dog and cat had a fight. And the noise gave Giuseppe a terrible fright. He fell from his ladder, and his paints came down too. I know how I'm feeling, and I know what I'll do. I'll paint a picture so he started to paint with bold zigzags and lines of red, black, and orange shapes and designs. And then he admired it. Say, that's not bad. I wonder if people could tell I was mad. Giuseppe was feeling lonely one day, so he called up a friend to come over and play. But his friend couldn't come. He had somewhere to go. Oh, well, signed Giuseppe, feeling quite low. I know how I feel, and I bet you do too. When I'm feeling this way, there's just one thing to do. I'll paint a picture. Each stroke of his brush seemed to droop like his day. He used shades of blue and dappled with gray. Then he stood back to look and said, Say, that's not bad. I wonder if people could tell I was sad. The next day the sun was shining so bright Giuseppe felt everything would be all right. Even his dog and his cat got along. Giuseppe thought he could just burst out in song. And to make things more perfect, his friend came to play. It couldn't have been a more wonderful day. And when you're feeling so great and your skies are bright blue, Giuseppe knew there was just one thing to do. Let's paint a picture. So he got out his paper and paints with his friend. They used blue and red, but that wasn't the end. They mixed red with yellow and yellow with blue. They swirled with some white, and before they were through, they sprinkled some pink and dotted with green. And with one final stroke, they completed the scene. Giuseppe turned to his friend and said, Say, that's not bad. I wonder if people could tell we were glad. So, however you're feeling tomorrow, today, just pick up your brushes and paint away. Instead of shouting, instead of pouting, use colors to show that you're feeling that way. And you could be famous like Giuseppe Boudet. I hope you enjoyed that. Art can be really helpful for expressing emotions. Thanks for writing that book, Judy. Listen, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? I upload one of these every day. Until next time, please stay safe, stay healthy.